Hey guys, uh, here to talk to you today about uh, Drew Curtis and how he be a patent troll. So uh, his TED talk involved him and several other companies, big name companies, uh, getting sued by a patent troll on a patent that none of them infringed upon. And so he goes through the story and um, basically what ends up happening is that a lot of companies end up settling because they don't want to go through the lawsuit that would usually cost around $2 million. Um, Drew Curtis, on the other hand, doesn't have $2 million and doesn't want to settle at the same time. So what he ends up doing is calling out the patent infringement and saying it was unjust and uh, not backed up. So he says that he's either going to go to court or he's not going to give him a dime. And it ends up that he settles for nothing. So this just goes to show um, patent trolls are actually just looking out, out for money and don't really care about the integrity of the patent system. So um, this can be used in order to beat a patent troll such that um, if you off the bat tell them that you don't have any money or you're willing to go to court in order not to give them the money, then they will most of the time back off because they're only in it for the money. And if they unjustly uh, accuse you of patent infringement, um, they uh, will drop the suit in most cases. So I think this is just a testament to show that patent trolls are a huge issue in the patent industry right now. And I think that a system needs to put, you put in place in order to take care of this uh, issue because if not, then it could get out of hand like it already is actually. And patent trolls will forever bully smaller companies and um, exploit them for money. Um, so this is just the example given by Drew Curtis. Uh, thanks for watching.